guys, right now you can see we are in preparation of trying out our dogs um, to get ready to go into the forest to begin our hunt. Stay tuned to what happens next. Man come here, you want the dog to go home. Let me see the dog. They want to take my dog and give me a puppy. So right now, as you could hear, far off into the distance, the dogs are hot on the trail of Aguti. These are Aguti dogs we have here, and they are hot onto the trail of the Aguti. So there's a purpose why, guys, I am in this position. Right now, I am listening off of experience as a hunter to hear the direction and trying to anticipate where the animal will pass. So I'm setting up myself currently right now in a position where I could predict and anticipate a clear shot of the animal when it passes. Okay guys, so from here on, you would hear me whistle. This whistle is a form a code on conduct that we hunters use as a group in our group to alert um, nearby hunters that I am in the area, I am in firing range. You know, it's a, it's a give a hunter a clear perspective of their surroundings and environment to, to know where uh, our fellow partners may be. And um, this is very important, especially when you are in possession of a firearm you know we use all safety precautions as measures as much as possible so guys this is an important tip you could apply to your groups as well stay tuned for what happens next So guys at this point here I uh, believe I missed my opportunity to get a shot at this uh, beast. So um, as you can see the ground is very damp and soft and it will be very difficult for a hunter to hear animal or beast coming from a distance away. So you have to always be on guard, always be alert, your eyes have to be peeled open, ears wide open in terrains like this. Uh, my focus at the time was getting good camera footage and this is why I was unable to uh, possibly get a good shot on this animal. But stay tuned to the hunt and see what happens next guys. Hey guys, you can see that it was a glorious, wonderful, successful hunt here with this activity. We are proud of our cats, we are proud of our dogs, and we are proud of the, um, the track shot hunters that we have in our group. Um, at this time, we were actually coaxing the dogs. Yes, we were proud of our hunters, coaxing the dogs. 
to, to be aggressive towards the beast so that we can encourage them to chase after it more by right? tasting the blood of the animal and smelling the animal it entices them to want to chase after their goody more and that's why we encourage this with our dogs hey guys it's trini lone hunter here thanks for watching my video remember to subscribe like share and comment down below thank you for your support thus far i will be posting another video um, in the near future again um, you guys will enjoy this one you know so share around um, remember solely my videos are for entertainment and knowledge um, as you can see again going back to my video always have a code of conduct while hunting especially when operating firearms or malicious weapons that could be used or intended to kill animals um, as you can see we have a code of conduct a whistle so you guys you know just take little notes here and there and try and apply it to, to um, your exercises or practices um, in, in, in the game in the sport um, please be safe again hope you guys enjoy the video thanks again for all the support and everything and do continue to show your support and like these videos follow me subscribe share around and you know any suggestions and stuff you could you could pass pass it out there and i will relay and continue to to, to edit to educate and enhance my my quality of videos and style thanks again guys do take care